In the space at eye level before me is a throne, both lofty and glorious, made of all precious gems. Above and below it is protected by lions, two at each corner, to watch high and low. On top of this throne is a mandala seat of lotus in full bloom, the moon and the sun. Seated upon it is my holy root guru, you who are always so gracious and kind. In outward appearance, you are Buddha Shakyamuni. Your body is the hue of refined polished gold, with crowning Ushnisha, one head and two arms. Your right hand outstretched towards the earth underneath, and your left in your lap, calmly holding a begging bowl filled with three nectars. Adorned with all hundred and twelve marks of a Buddha, you are wearing a monk's robes that are saffron in color. Your legs are both crossed in the Vajra position, and you sit in a bright cloud of clear rays of light. Seated around you are all my own gurus, and those of the lineage as well as my yidams. You Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Dhakas, Dakinis, and Dharma protectors are seated here also. Your volumes of teachings are set here before you on most precious cushions. They glow with clear light. All of you members of this mighty assembly are smiling and pleased as I sit doing puja. Recalling your kindness and qualifications, I am placed in a firm state of very strong faith. And now think that all around you are all motherly sentient beings in human form, and you lead them in these prayers together. I and all motherly sentient beings, from beginningless rebirths until this present time, have experienced in full the various sufferings of samsara in general, and specifically those of the three lower states. Yet it is still not easy to fathom completely the depth and the scope of the suffering we bear. But now I have taken a sound human body, fully endowed with the eight forms of leisure and the ten circumstances conducive for dharma. Such a sound body, not easily gained, when once obtained, can be put to good use, for with it I can work for much higher rebirth, nirvana, or even the state of a Buddha. And I have had the good fortune to have met with the Dharma, the Dharma whose presence is so rare to find. Having attained these most favored conditions, if I do not work to achieve full enlightenment, surpassing nirvana and free from all pain, and if I do not try to attain this right now, then again I shall have to experience the sufferings of samsara in general, and specifically those of the three lower states. Therefore, as the power to protect me from all these sufferings lies only with you in your hands, O my Guru, and the three jewels of refuge envisioned before me, I promise to strive for Buddhahood now, so that I may be able to benefit fully all motherly sentient beings. And so for this purpose, I now go for refuge to you, Holy Guru, and the three precious jewels. I take refuge in my Guru, I take refuge in the Buddha, I take refuge in the Dharma, I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in my Guru, I take refuge in the Buddha, I take refuge in the Dharma, I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in my Guru, I take refuge in the Buddha, I take refuge in the Dharma, I take refuge in the Sangha. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddhas, the Dharma, and the highest assembly, from the virtuous merit that I collect, by practicing giving in other perfections, may I attain the state of a Buddha to be able to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I am enlightened, to the Buddhas, the Dharma, and the highest assembly, 
From the virtuous merit that I collect, by practicing giving and other perfections, may I attain the state of a Buddha to be able to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddhas, the Dharma, and the highest assembly. From the virtuous merit that I collect, by practicing giving and other perfections, may I attain the state of a Buddha to be able to benefit all sentient beings. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings could remain impartial, completely unbiased, with neither attraction nor angered repulsion, not close to some, not distant from others. May they always remain in this way. May I cause them to remain in this way. Bestow on me, please, your inspiring strength, O divine holy gurus, to bring this about in this way. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were endowed with happiness and the causes for joy. May they always be endowed in this way. May I cause them to be endowed in this way. Bestow on me, please, your inspiring strength, O divine holy gurus, to bring this about in this way. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were released from suffering and the causes for pain. May they always be released in this way. May I cause them to be released in this way. Bestow on me, please, your inspiring strength, O divine holy gurus, to bring this about in this way. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were never removed from higher rebirths or complete liberation. May they never be removed in this way. May I cause them never to be removed in this way. Bestow on me, please, your inspiring strength, O divine holy gurus, to bring this about in this way. And the material offerings of gods and of humans, both these set before me and those visualized, as well as a cloud of the unequaled offerings of Samatabhadra, may they fully pervade all of space. Hold the visualization while adding the mantra. Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasava Pramadana Tathagataya Ahate Samyak Sambhudaya Tayata Om Vajra Vajra Maha Vajra Maha Tija Vajra Maha Vidya Vajra Maha Bodhi Chita Vajra Maha Bodhi Mendo Pasam Kramana Vajrasava Kam Avarana Vishadana Vajrasoha Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasava Pramadana Tathagata Yahate Samiksam Buraya Tayata Om Vajra Vajra Maha Vajra Maha Tita Vajra Maha Vita Maha Bodhi Chita Vajra Maha Bodhi Mendo Pesam Kramana Vajra Sawa Kama Avarana Vishadana Vajra Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasava Pramadana Tathagata Yahate Samiksam Buraya Tayata Om Vajra Vajra Maha Vajra Maha Tita Vajra Maha Vita Vajra Maha Bodhi Chita Vajra Maha Bodhi Mendokbasam Gramana Vajra Sawa Kama Avarana Vishadana Vajra Soha By the force of the truth of the three jewels of refuge, by the firm inspiration from all the Bodhisattvas and Buddhas, by the power of the Buddhas who have fully completed their collections of both good merit and insight, and by the might of voidness, inconceivable and pure, may all these offerings become as visualized. In the vast space of non-duality of voidness and bliss, in the center of a cloud of Samadabhadra's offerings, on the crest of a wish-granting tree, beautifully adorned with fruits, leaves, and flowers, is a precious throne supported by lions. On cushions of lotus, sun, and the moon sits my gracious root guru, you who are kind in all the three ways. You are here in your actual bodily form, yet you share the same nature as all of the Buddhas, with one head, two arms, and a radiant smile. Dressed in traditional robes of a monk, your right hand is in the pose of teaching the Dharma, your left hand in your lap is in meditational pose and is holding a begging bowl filled with the three nectars. You are wearing the three saffron robes of a monk, crowned with a painted gold hat of a pandit. In your heart sits the Buddha Shakyamuni. In his heart, Vajadara, the great tantric Buddha. He has a blue color, one head and two arms, a dorje and bell, and all the marks of a Buddha. 
He embraces his consort, Vajudatu Ishvari. Together they experience the ecstasy of innate voidness and bliss. They are both adorned with many jeweled ornaments, draped with fine garments of heavenly scarves. In the midst of the light of a five-colored rainbow, radiating forth with a myriad of rays, you, my guru, in full lotus posture, embody in this way Vajadhara and Buddha. Your skandhas are pure with five dhyani buddhas, the elements of your body with consorts, your joints, veins, and senses with eight bodhisattvas, your pores with two myriad one thousand arhats, and your limbs with the wrathful protectors. The light from your body radiates forth in the form of protectors of all ten directions. The celestial gods and gods of this world compared to you are merely props for your feet. An eleven-layered lotus surrounds your root guru. On its petals are found in traditional order the four major yidams of Anuttara Yoga. In front, Gyuya Samaja, Yamantaka to your left, Hiruka to your right, and Hevadra behind. Second are the rest of the Anuttara Yoga yidams. Third comes the yidams of the Yoga Tantra class. Fourth are those of the Karya Tantra, and fifth comes those of the Kriya Tantra class. All are together with full entourages of the secondary figures from each of their mandalas. Sixth are the Buddhas, seventh Bodhisattvas, eighth are the Pratyekas, and ninth are the Shravakas. Tenth are the Dakas and Dakinis, and eleventh Dhammapalas, the protectors of Dharma. The lineage gurus of the Bodhicitta line are seated to your right. First Maitreya, then the Pandits of India, the Kadam Geshis, and then the Geluk. The lineage gurus of the Shionata line are seated to your left. First Manjushri, then the Pandits of India, the Kadam Geshis, and then the Geluk. Seated above you in vertical rows, are the lineage gurus of five tantric lines. From your right to your left, at the head of each row, sits first Gyuya Samaja, and then Yamantaka, Vajradhara, Atisha, and lastly Haruka. In front of you, seated between this tree and myself, are all my own gurus, from whose kindness I have grown. In this way, O Root Guru, you are nobly encircled by this ocean of figures assembled here now. The body, speech, and mind of each of these members are marked by a white Om, red Ah, and blue Hum. From each of these Hum emit rays of light, which hook-like draw you forth from your celestial abode. All you actual Dhyani Bodhisattvas and Buddhas merge to become firmly fixed here before me. O Bhagawan, savior of all beings without exception, divine conqueror of the terrible demon host, who knows all entities truly and completely, please approach together with your retinue. Zahumbam ho. The wisdom beings merge inseparably with the pledge beings. So now think that which you imagined and that which is actually there have become one. The Buddhas are actually present. Whether you're able to visualize them clearly or not, have a sense of their presence here. Invited and invoked, not because they weren't already here, but by doing so, we become open and receptive to their blessings. Now, I visualize clearly a chamber for ablution, with delicate fragrance, refreshing and pure. Its floor is inlaid with lovely clear crystal, with sparkling jeweled pillars, majestic and bright. Above it is spread a magnificent canopy, 
finely embellished with luminescent pearls. In this wondrous chamber, a celestial host is here to attend all you gurus assembled as you come one by one to make your ablution. Just as gods and goddesses made offerings of pure water, so do I make offerings here of water likewise pure, for the ablution of the members of this visualized assembly. On Salatata Gata Abhishekata Samaye Shriya Hum. This water for ablution I hereby offer to you, O Buddha, and to you, Vajradhara. Your bodies are the products of ten million virtues and the perfect accomplishments of wisdom and means. Your speech grants the wishes of all sentient beings by showing the way to their freedom from suffering. Your minds know that all knowable things are all void. Om Salatata Gata Bishakata Samaya Shriya Hum This water for ablution I hereby offer to you lineage gurus who have passed on the teaching of vast bodhicitta. This water for ablution I hereby offer to you lineage gurus who have passed on the teachings of profound shunata. This water for ablution I hereby offer to you lineage gurus of meditational practice. You have transmitted in succession the unbroken inspiration to emulate exactly your most excellent examples. This water for ablution I hereby offer to you lineage gurus of my personal guru. Om Salatatagata Abhishekata Samaya Shriya Hum This water for ablution I hereby offer to all of the Buddhas. You are the true teachers. This water for ablution I hereby offer to all of the Dharma. You are the true protection. This water for ablution I hereby offer to all of the Sangha. You are the true guides. This water for ablution I hereby offer to the Triple Gem. You are the true refuge. Om Salatata Gata Abhishekata Samaya Shriya Hum I hereby dry the bodies of all of you emanations with a cloth unmatched in fragrance and immaculately clean. Hum hum drum ri ah kaya vishadana so ha. I hereby anoint your bodies, O Buddhas, with the best perfumed oils, the most fragrant of scents. Thus you shine in your glory with many bright rays as radiant and glowing as pure polished gold. I hereby offer you heavenly garments, sheer, soft, and light. O oh, you who have attained the unshatterable, diamond-hard state of a Buddha, if I offer these garments with unshatterable faith, may I likewise attain the diamond-hard state of supreme Buddhahood. Although it is not needed to adorn any further, you Buddhas who are already naturally adorned with all perfect marks, both major and minor, nevertheless, by offering here the finest of jewels, may the merit accruing enable all beings to attain perfect bodies which are likewise adorned with full double sets of a true Buddha's marks. From your love and compassion for all sentient beings, including myself, by the might of your vast extra-physical powers, May you, O Buddhas, remain with us all for as long as I continue to make you these offerings. O noble man Jushri, in your form as a youth, I prostrate before you. All of you human lion Buddhas who have come here in the past or are here now in the present, or have still yet to come, wherever you are residing now in all the ten directions, I offer you prostrations with my body, speech, and mind. May I fully please you, Buddhas, as the noble bodhisattvas have always done with offerings of the best there are to give, presenting you with perfume, finest clothing for your statues, and powdered incense equal to Mount Meru in expanse. May I fully please you, Buddhas, by prostrating here before you, by the power of my faith in the path of moral deeds, by the peerless spread of offerings unequaled in their vastness that I visualize before me as presented up to you. This ground, anointed with perfume, flowers strewn, Mount Meru, four lands, sun and moon, 
I imagine as a Buddha land and offered to you. May all beings enjoy this pure land. Yadam Guru Ratna Mandala Kamni Atayami And now think that before the compassionate gaze of the Guru Deity and Merit Field, I openly admit and make full declaration that every non-virtuous act I have done with mind, speech, and body, while under the sway of desire, strong hatred, and close-minded thought, has been a serious error I fully regret. By making the three jewels of refuge these offerings, and promising not to commit them again, may I hereby avoid all the harmful effects of the wrongs I have done, which prevent me from helping all motherly beings. So imagine that you lay bare all of the mistakes and faults from beginningless time, seeing a fault to be a fault, without the addition of ideas of guilt, without identification, taking responsibility, without any kind of self-loathing or self-hatred. We do this by remembering dependent arising, by remembering the emptiness of inherent existence. And yet, from the conventional side, the practice of ethics and understanding of cause and effect are vital. So we lay bare with this mind of regret. Full of great admiration, I rejoice in your merit, O you Shavaka and Pratyeka Arhats, and Aryas, you Bodhisattvas and Buddhas, of all ten directions, and I wish to be able to emulate fully the virtuous conduct of all pious ones. And so generating the power of rejoicing, directly counteracting any kind of jealousy, increasing our merit, inspiring our minds. All these advanced practitioners were once ordinary people like us. By rejoicing in their positive actions, we become closer to achieving those goals. You can think in particular of the positive actions of your own root guru, the tireless teaching, the infinite patience, so many kindnesses, small and large. You can also rejoice in your own positive actions of this life and anything similar that you can't remember from past lives. All of your own study, meditation, practice. Being a kind friend. Having integrity in relationships. Being a considerate citizen. And you can think not only myself, but my friends and my family and so many people in this world are doing positive actions worth rejoicing in. So allow your heart to be uplifted by thinking of all of those who work to benefit others, who work to actively refrain from harm. Anyone living an intentional life with altruistic motivation, so incredibly precious.
and then to create the cause to continuously meet with the Dharma, directly and in person, life after life, from now until enlightenment? I request you all Buddhas, almighty protectors, the lights of the world in all ten directions, who remain unattached to Buddhahood, gained through completing the ten-staged Bodhisattva career, to turn the incomparable wheel of the Dharma in order to benefit all sentient beings. So you can imagine yourself as you are, or as a Brahmin, multiplied many times, each replica of yourself holding a giant Dharma wheel that you offer to the Guru Buddha, who happily accepts and then creating the cause for the Guru Buddha to remain, for your gurus of this life to show the aspect of long life, request. With palms pressed together, I sincerely beseech all you teachers who wish to gain final release, which would bring to an end your most generous teachings, please stay with us here for as many world ages as the numberless atoms there are in the world, for the sake of the welfare of all sentient beings. You can imagine once again yourself multiplied many times, each offering a giant lion throne with a crossed vajra on each face. It absorbs into the throne the Guru Buddha currently sits on. and dedicate the seven limbs. Whatever small merit from virtuous actions I have gained through prostrations, the offerings I have made, declaring, rejoicing, requesting, beseeching, I dedicate all to attain Buddhahood so that I may be able to liberate quickly all sentient beings from the sufferings they bear. This ground anointed with perfume, flowers strewn, Mount Meru, four lands, sun and moon, imagined as a Buddha land and offered to you, may all beings enjoy this pure land. Yadam Guru Ratna Mandala Kam I take refuge in the three precious gems and my Guru, and I make this request. Send forth to me waves of inspiring strength. Inspire me now and all motherly beings, to bring to an end all distorted states of mind, from showing precious gurus the slightest disrespect, through insisting we ourselves are truly different from all others, send forth to us waves of inspiring strength to develop most quickly all true states of mind that especially include showing gurus respect, send forth to us waves of inspiring strength to clear away hindrances, outer and inner, to our practice of dharma. Yadam Guru Ratna Mandala Kamniyatayami O Venerable and Noble Root Guru, come take your lotus and moon seat placed here upon my head, receiving and keeping me safe in your kindness, bestow upon me please the powerful attainments of your body, speech, and mind. I make request to you, O Buddha, Head of the Shakya clan, your body is the product of ten million virtues and the perfect accomplishment of wisdom and means. Your speech grants the wishes of all sentient beings by showing the way to their freedom from suffering. Your mind knows that all knowable things are void. I make request to you. I make request to you, lineage gurus of meditational practice, to you, Vajradhara, great compassionate Buddha, to Lopa and Naropa, you have gained highest insight. Dombipa and Atisha, most blessed ones, you have transmitted in succession the unbroken inspiration to emulate exactly your most excellent examples. I make request to you. I make request to you, lineage gurus, who have passed on the teachings of profound Shunata, to you, Manjushri, and to you, Nagarjuna, you have destroyed both extremes of assertion and denial. To you, Chandrakirti, 
Vidya Kokila the Elder, Vidya Kokila the Younger, and you other noble sons, I make request to you. I make request to you, Kadam Gurus, to you, Atisha, who possess completely the oral teachings of texts and their practice, to you, J. Don Trumpa, mighty forefather of all the great teachings of the Kadam, and to you, three brothers of the Kadam tradition, master yogis of the four tantric classes, and to all you other gurus as well, I make request to you. I make request to the successive lineage of gurus and disciples, to you, J. Sonkapa, who has repaved the road of spiritual progress for the carriage of Tibet, the land of snows. To you, Gelsub J, logic's full power is at your disposal. To you, Kedrup J, Lord of Sutra and Tantra as well, I make request to you. I make request to you, kind, gracious gurus, to you, Vajradhara, O guru embodying the three precious gems, granting powerful attainments, both the mundane and the special. You assume the form of gurus, in a manner that is suitable for taming your disciples, I make request to you. I make request to you, illuminating gurus, eyes through which myriad scriptures may be seen, the best path to freedom for those of good fortune, agents of love through acts skillful and means, I make request to you. O venerable and noble root guru, Sitting on your lotus and moon seat, placed here upon my head, receiving and keeping me safe in your kindness, bestow upon me, please, the powerful attainments of your body, your speech, and your mind. I prostrate before you, O Buddha, head of the Shakya clan. Your body is the product of ten million virtues and the perfect accomplishment of wisdom and means. Your speech grants the wishes of all sentient beings by showing the way to their freedom from suffering. Your mind knows that all knowable things are void. I prostrate before you, O precious Buddha, the peerless instructor. O precious Dharma, the peerless protection. O peerless Sangha, the peerless guide. Together you are the three jewels of refuge. I present to you all offerings, both those set before me and those visualized. I declare to you all the non-virtuous acts and transgressions of vows that I have amassed from beginningless time and invoke their opponents. I am filled with deep joy and profound admiration, wishing to emulate fully the virtues of all of you great Aryas. I beseech you, Gurus, not to part from samsara. Please remain with us here for a very long time. Turn the wheel of Dharma for the sake of us all. I dedicate the merit of these virtuous actions of myself and all others for the perfect attainment of Buddhahood for all. This collection of excellent offerings and this precious jeweled mandala, complete with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon, the seven precious emblems I offer to you. O my guru, my yidam, and the three precious gems, accepting these out of your boundless compassion, send forth to me waves of inspiring strength. Yidam guru ratna mandala kam niyatayami. To you, Guru Yidam, four bodies of the Buddhas, Buddha Vajradhara, I make this request. To you, Guru Yidam, Dharmakaya, void of obstacles, Buddha Vajradhara, I make this request. To you, Guru Yidam, Sambhogakaya of great bliss, Buddha Vajradhara, I make this request. To you, Guru Yidam, Nirmanakaya of many forms, Buddha Vajradhara, I make this request. To you, Guru Yidam, embodying all gurus, Buddha Vajradhara, I make this request. To you, Guru Yidam, embodying all Yidams, Buddha Vajradhara, I make this request. To you, Guru Yidam, embodying all Buddhas, Buddha Vajradhara, I make this request. To you, Guru Yidam, embodying all the Dharma, Buddha Vajradhara, I make this request. To you, Guru Yidam, embodying all the Sangha, Buddha Vajradhara, I make this request. To you, Guru Yidam, embodying all the Kinis, Buddha Vajradhara, I make this request. To you, Guru Yidam, embodying all Dharmapalas, Buddha Vajradhara, I make this request. To you, Guru Yidam, embodying all refuge, Buddha Vajradhara, I make this request. I prostrate before you, O Guru Buddha, sage of the Shakya clan. I make you these offerings, in you I take refuge. 
By seeing that my Guru and the Buddhas are one, by the merit collected by these virtuous acts, may I quickly be able to lead every being without exception to the state of a Supreme Guru Buddha. From my collection of insight and merit vast as space, that I have amassed from working with effort at the practice of Lam Rim for a great length of time, may I quickly become the chief leading Buddha for all those who suffer from ignorance clouding their mind's wisdom I. Even if I do not reach this high state, may I always be held in your boundless compassion for all of my lifetimes, O great Manjushri. May I discover the best complete graded paths of the teachings. May I please all the Buddhas by practicing well. By teaching all the points of the path just as I have discerned them, thus lifting the darkness from the minds of all others through skillful means. With the force of compassion as guiding incentive, may I uphold Buddhist teaching for eons. With my heart going out in the ten main directions, where the supreme jewel-like dharma has declined or not spread, compelled by the powerful force of great mercy, may I expose this vast treasure which brings pleasure and aid. By the merit of the marvelous good acts of the Buddhas and all of the Bodhisattvas, and even this, my work on the Lam Rim, may the deeds of the Buddhas for a long time be nourished to bring wondrous peace to those who would be free. As for all of the people and beings not human who prevent bad conditions and make things conducive for unhindered practice of the excellent path, may they never be parted for all of their lifetimes from the purest path which the Buddhas praise. When someone with vigor makes effort in accordance with the ten points of conduct of the Mahayana path, may they always be assisted by the mighty Dharmapalas, and may oceans of good fortune spread out reaching all. <laughs> 